Welcome back to the channel. This is the Earth Science Classroom. This video is on geology and part of the Colorado Plateau series. This video is looking at a journey through time. When you go to the Grand Canyon, it is literally a tourist hotspot for over 4 million visitors every year and also geologists. All these people that love rocks and love to look at rock formations, this is a great place to do it. This is the Earth Science Classroom. The Grand Canyon is a hot spot for not only tourists, but also scientists and geologists and anyone who likes natural landscapes and awe-inspiring locations that really put you in your place on this planet and see the huge, immense size of this canyon. And, of course, the rock formations, the different colored rocks and the different rock formations from the plateau all the way down into the inner gorge to the Colorado River. And you can see this amazing canyon wall right in front of you and the rocks are really talking to you about what happened and how they are formed, the depositional environment that formed them. And you can basically work backwards and take the information from the rocks of what happened over the course of geologic time in this location in Arizona as part of the North American continent geologically and of course the Colorado Plateau. And what it's telling you is a long journey through about one and a half billion years from the plateau surface all the way down to the inner gorge. And this history tour brings in all different subjects and looks at index fossils and how to date rocks based on the radioactive decay, radiometric dating, and you can figure out each part of the canyon wall tells their own story of what happened and how these rocks were formed. Our geologic history of the Grand Canyon begins at the bottom, by the river in the inner gorge. Now, this is also based on the three different rock sets, the three main rock sets of the Grand Canyon. So the first rock set at the bottom, which is the oldest rocks in the Grand Canyon and the oldest rock exposed in or on the Colorado Plateau is the basement rocks, the basement igneous and metamorphic suites, which date between 1.7 to 1.84 billion years old. These include plutons and various dikes. Now, this is all part of the Proterozoic Eon, which is pre-Cambrian time. And this Proterozoic Eon dates between 545 million years ago down or to 2.5 billion years ago. So these rocks are extremely old, and it's thanks to the river eroding down so deep in one mile in some areas, which we get to see and experience these very old rocks. Then we get the rock set number two, which is the Grand Canyon Supergroup, the layered and tilted strata, which dates between 740 million years and 1.25 billion years. So a little bit younger than the basement rocks, and there's unconformities that separate these rocks as well. And these, again, are going to be part of the Proterozoic Eon. Then we get the Phanerozoic Eon, which all the rocks in the third set, which is the canyon wall mostly, are part of what's called the Paleozoic Era. And then these are split into smaller divisions. And you see here, the first one is the Cambrian period, which goes for a short time between 485 to 541 million years ago. And these are the first rocks or the oldest rocks in the Paleozoic sedimentary strata or the canyon wall going up to the plateau surface. The Cambrian then turns into the Devonian. There's a little gap there and there should be two periods in between but are missing due to the lack of rocks formed in that time which are the Ordovician and the Silurian periods. Now Devonian period goes from 360 to 420 million years ago and then we jump into the Carboniferous where in America we split it into two smaller divisions. The earliest is Mississippian and the later is Pennsylvanian. And these range between 300 to 360 million years ago. That's like midway up the Canyon Wall. Then we get the Permian. This is the last part of the Great Grand Canyon. When we get to the actual plateau surface where you at the north or south rim, standing on the top looking into the Grand Canyon itself. And the Permian dates between 255 to 300 million years ago and this 
includes three or four different rock strata that end up at the surface and the surface is the youngest rocks based on superposition and this dates around 255 million years ago again the dates and the geologic time periods do vary based on which journal article or textbook you look at but these are estimates of ages so all of this geologic history and the ability to see all these rocks from 1.84 billion years ago to the most recent kebab limestone at the plateau surface is all due to the Colorado River and the 5 million years of erosion which river has done to create this amazing canyon which we can all experience today with wonder and awe. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, please subscribe and hit the like button. If you like more on this content, please check out my channel, which has all these videos on earth science.